Hello everyone and welcome back to another tarot reading from your girl Christina. So welcome back you guys. I truly appreciate every single one of you. You guys know you guys are amazing and you guys are the ones who make this happen. So this next set of 12 readings, I am not going to tell you the zodiac sign. If you're drawn to the title of the reading, then you're drawn to the title of the reading. And at the very, very end of the reading, I will tell you what zodiac sign this reading was for, okay? Because I'm trying to prove a point here as to we can be drawn to any particular reading, right? And Lord and behold, it kind of fits you or is similar, or I'm talking about somebody's story, or I'm giving you a message that truly resonates, right? So with that being said, you guys, we are going to jump right in. As always, thank you so much for your likes, subscribes, and shares. And keep in mind, this channel does not do comments. We don't deal with that funny stuff, okay? That's for my protection, and that is for your protection, because I do not play with you guys, okay? So, with that being said, I am going to jump right in. First card that you guys are getting is the two of emotions which is the two of cups this is your guardian angel message and it says a relationship grows closer as two people fall in love or a current relationship grows much stronger friendships may deepen into a spiritual connection mutual respect and understanding exist did you hear what i said mutual respect and understanding exists meaning it's not requested it is just given. That is the type that you really want to invest in, okay? Let me finish. Or will develop. Don't give up on relationships that feel challenging to you. There's still hope. So if there's someone that you truly like, that you truly feel connected to, that you truly feel like, man, I really like this person and I just don't know what to do about them, guess what, you guys? hold on hold the space let everything um develop let everything take its process take its course right so now what i am getting here um with the oracle cards because this is what we're going to get in the beginning of this set of readings is your oracle cards straight up you're getting invisible here which there's a female here sort of like at it looks like a mirror to me that's mirroring the whole concept of as above, so below. Now, I can give y'all a ton of different aspects of what as above, so below means to me. Um, but what I want to say here, as above, so below, one of the true concepts that I truly believe in is, you know, the divine wants you to have love. The divine wants you to experience love and joy and happiness, right? They want this for you. They don't want you to hold yourself back from any connection that could possibly help you grow, right? Or be beneficial to you and for that person. But with the invisible card being here and it's being number 16, which is seven, which goes to self-reflection and a number of self, a spiritual number, right? It's almost as if individually, there's this whole energy of feeling invisible, of being invisible, right? And this is something that right now with 49 being here, which goes to 13, which is four, a number of foundation. It's like you're willing to release this because you're not wanting to bring this on to the next, right? So this, I used, when I was a little girl and I would run through a field of these and I would actually try to grab each one without them breaking apart and I would kind of like you know say oh th I'm gonna make a wish like me and my sisters used to call it wishes and we used to actually blow them in the wind and let them go off into the wind and it's kind of like that's our wish that was going now with this being here it reminds me of someone who's probably wishing to not be invisible 
but they are invisible. And then we're getting the Envy card here with the number 20, which you bring that down, that's a number of balance, okay? So, someone is feeling like they are in the dark or they're not balanced enough and they're feeling envious of others, but they're not seeing that the divine is bringing in this adjacent possibilities for them so that they can try to make the changes that they need to make either for a connection or for a deeper connection, which can bring in healing for them. Now, the other message that I'm getting here too, mm -hmm, six of coins, balance. So the other message that I'm getting here too, you guys, is that's a crazy one. Okay, let me see how I can word this because that's kind of promoting someone to be envious. So hold on. So the other message that's coming in too is do not feel envious towards others or a particular relationship or a particular connection or how that person selects their suitors, right? Because you don't know what that relationship has going on. Like, okay, don't look at it like, oh yeah, they have a relationship. They have this connection, right? But their connection might not be so, so good. Like the cup might not be filled with clean water. That water could be sitting there in a cesspool, all dead, no current, no emotion, no nothing. But they'll still perceive it to others like if it's actually good when it's really not. So just be mindful of when you tell people about your new suitors or when you tell people, oh, I'm interested in this individual, or even yourself, don't look at others like, oh, they're in a relationship, or they're married, or they're committed, or they've been together X amount of years. You truly don't know how good of a relationship that is, because there is no perfect relationship, right? The only perfect relationship that you can truly have is one with yourself. And even for that, you have to really be in the notion of I'm going to invest in myself. I'm going to give to myself. Like that is the only relationship that you can really, really perfect, right? And fine tune it to your appropriate way of wanting to be, right? Or the way you want to see yourself. Now, you can't do that in an actual relationship and force that other person to be perfect for you or this uh six of coins six of pentacles which is balancing the scales of a situation i feel like someone does feel invisible or they feel like why not me we're getting nine of cups here and we're getting the justice card so yeah Somebody could definitely be beginning to do the work that they need to do, balance themselves out. I'm being drawn to talk about how in ancient Egypt, well, the, the theory was, the theory was, I'm going to word it properly for you guys, right? Before y'all be like, ah, oh, Christina's crazy. She's bringing up this stuff again. I don't care. I'll bring it up. Because I watch a lot of that stuff. I watch a lot of documentaries. I've got X amount of books there. So one of the theories is that they're in the underworld in ancient Egypt. And you're going to say that's from a movie. And it is from a movie. It's just they put it in the movie. But it actually was like this. Where in order for you to go to the land of the living, that's what they called it. Um, in, in the land of the dead, you had to measure. You had to measure. So here, this person is measuring a feather and a sword. That is what they're measuring, okay? That is what's, what's balancing the scales. And it's like, you know, sometimes the truth is super heavy, heavier than, than any type of responsibility, 
right? And if you sit there and you're putting more weight on the feather, just because you want to make the sword look lighter, um, that's not going to work, right? You can't do that. You can't sugarcoat the truth. Now, nine of cups is here, which is, this is an energy of overindulgence. This is an energy of drinking. Maybe this person is drinking. What else do you want to talk about here for this individual? Okay. How there is a queen of swords. So there's this energy or there's this individual that you cannot be lied to or lied to. This person is a very prideful person. So this could be the person who is envious of others or envious of others' relationships and how they are. And the truth be told, this is the truth. There's a Three of Cups situation going on. There's a Three of Cups situation going on. And that's why this person is sort of like how they used to say in Spanish. Well, my parents used to say this, uh, which is you're, you're backwards. You're doing it backwards. You're, you're upset because the truth is there's some type of third party situation. Does it need to be cheating you guys? So don't go calling Sally because the high priestess said it. No, listen, don't go calling Sally telling her, oh, you know, Christina said there must be cheating involved and that's why he be acting up. No, sorry about that guys. So yeah, don't be calling. I'm <laughs> Don't call Sally and tell her Christina. Christina on YouTube said, uh, your husband's cheating. That's not true. It could be many other things. It could be friends influencing. It could be family members influencing. It could be the coworker influencing. Hey, listen, we can't even go as far as saying if social media influencing this person to change their mind. It doesn't matter what the case is. What matters is that Sally knows about it because she's high priestess. She is high priestess. She already knows. So you don't even need to tell her. You know when something's going on with your partner, you know. You know it. There's no there's there's no change in it. Okay, you guys, there is no change in it. So let me get two more and then I'm gonna move on to the final deck. Seven of Pentacles. Yep. Four of Cups. So and the bottom of the deck here, I told you, this is this is the wish. So, to the person who's envious about what others has going on because their freaking water is like cup and stale. First of all, you don't need to be like that. You've got this uh, seven of pentacles here. You've been able to manifest the money. You've been able to do what you got to do. This can also be... Sally being happy and John being sad and bored, okay? It can also go for that too. This could be what's happening. They already know it, so you don't need to tell nobody their business. But what I will tell you is this. This is why the envious for the lovers or for the connection should not be here because it's just not beneficial. It's just not beneficial. So this next deck, next deck here this is going to be the outcome after the situation what's going to happen what is the adjacent possibility for for a viewer or the person that we're talking about here the person that we picked up their energy right what are we what are we looking at okay so we're looking at a situation where everybody's where they're saying everything is fine i don't feel that type of way queen of swords but truthfully speaking I just don't want no lies being brought to me. Okay, you see? And then, <laughs> I just don't want no lies. I just don't want no communication. I honestly had to end something with someone. And I'm going to be emotionally strong for this situation. Six of Swords. Because I'm going to be leaving this situation soon. And I'm going to be going towards prosperity towards my forever so you don't need to be look page of cups somebody will make an offer and add to that 10 three of wands they're just trying to figure out how to get to you okay uh king of cups is here somebody who's nurturing nurturing loving judgment is here 
because they're going to they, you're going to be able to tell and you're going to be able to know that this individual that's going to be coming in is your forever. And this is the soulmate. This is the soulmate card, but this is also the card that comes out as the change in soulmates. Look, 9 of cups. You will have your wish fulfillment. You will have your wish fulfillment okay um so i think i'm completely done with the cards here so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna get a card of advice from the romance oracles even though i didn't even plan that but we're gonna get a card from the romance oracle from romance angels <sighs> what would you like viewer to know before we go what would you like you to know about their love coming in let's see what it says there you go make the effort so work on you great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so just trust the process trust what's going to happen they even give you timing here at the bottom of the deck that says very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now i love it i think you guys um hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading and this reading was actually intended for aries so with that being said thank you for being here and i hope you guys aren't in shock but this was for Aries, which also represents the head and the face of the astrological body. So this could really go for anybody. Thank you. See you later.